Hi, welcome to Thiru Academy. Today we are going to discuss about Spring Boot Actuators. Okay, enable production ready features. How we can enable production ready features for our Spring Boot application is we need to add that Spring Boot Actuator Started Dependency to our Spring Boot application ok spring boot actuator module provides all spring boot production ready features dependency uh, is looking like this ok we need to we will see example at last ok this is the dependency we need to add for our spring boot application ok endpoints actuator endpoints are useful to monitor and interact with the application ok actual actuator endpoints is useful to interact with our application whatever the beans available health of that our application so many so many is there loggers and all so many is there we will see one by one ok spring boot includes a number of built-in endpoints number of built-in endpoints how we can check see the this is the spring documentation URL from this I will explain you ok enabling production ready features this is the end starter dependency they have provided ok this is see endpoints audit events beans caches conditions config props environment flyway health uh, info loggers metrics mappings quad sessions shutdown startup these are the endpoints are exposing in our spring boot application ok these we can call it as ids ok come to our session ok you can enable or disable each individual endpoint and expose them over http or jmx jmx is also another monitoring tool ok built in endpoints are auto configured only when they are available built in endpoints all are auto configured when they are available ok we will see I will show you example in example also default by default the health endpoint is mapped like this whatever the endpoint we need to provide uh, I mean http uh, uri http colon slash slash hostname we need to provide slash port number after that we need to provide actuator slash health endpoint URI should be like this we need to provide like this to check the health of that application ok this is the um, spring documentation URL name I have provided here example we have seen right this is the endpoints those endpoints so many we have ok enabling endpoints by default all endpoints except for shutdown is enabled ok by default all endpoints are enabled we will see one example now ok see here we need to add actuator right we will see spring initializer is there maven I am selecting ok add dependencies actuator yeah, spring boot actuator we need to add come here dependency I am taking ok only actuator dependency this is our previous application only whatever in previous videos we have seen this application right same application whatever you have developed you can take it ok formatting yeah actuator enabled starter dependency we have added I am running this project I am restarting this application ok we will see now this is one of the important interview question also ok how to enable the endpoints by default which is available how can we check that health of our application like that they may be ask ok it is taking little bit time yeah application is up and running we will see the logs see exposing one endpoint beneath base path is 
slash actuator we need to provide okay we'll see slash actuator we need to provide right we'll call that one http colon slash slash localhost what is that port number port number is 8090 8090 slash actuator yeah see hey this is providing like this that we can call it from postman so that we can uh, get more readable format okay see like this it is establishing here we need to call that health by default health is enabled right sorry yeah no problem status is upright yeah by default health is enabled and showing up okay here we have seen all are enabled except shutdown but here is showing only health endpoint right we are not getting any endpoints path actuator like this right to see that all endpoints to get that all endpoints information we need to add one property in our properties file then only we can get that all endpoints otherwise we won't get okay we'll see we, we need to add here okay i will show you yeah see management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include we need to provide star by default all we are all are enabled not we are we are providing this property just okay providing this property in our application dot properties file and i am restarting this application meantime we'll discuss all these things okay to configure the enablement of an endpoint management dot endpoint dot id here id whatever id i have told you these are the ids see these are the ids right environment beans info these are the ids we need to provide id dot enabled property we need to if you want to enable uh, one by one i mean by, by default or are enabled right uh, for security reasons we will disable all those things and whatever the endpoint you want to check okay we will enable those property in application dot properties file in general okay see example management dot endpoint dot shutdown dot enabled true if you want to enable that shutdown property here you, we need to provide like this by default it is false it is disabled here we are enabling that property if you prefer to disable all the endpoints set see management dot endpoint dot enabled by default property to false here if you if you don't want to enable all properties by default you can use this property management dot endpoint dot enabled by default equal to false you need to provide like this if you provide like this by default all endpoints are disabled okay we'll see the example now yes our application is up and running okay see observe now see exposing 13 endpoints beneath base path slash actuator okay we'll call this from postman now initially only health is getting up okay now see it is showing so many endpoints right by the uh, all are enabled okay we'll see now here beans will check see it is opening an another tab i'm sending request see so many so many beans are there for example i'll uh, i'll check whatever beans we have provided here in our application product service is one bean right i'll uh, search for that product service see product service is 
one bin we have exposed one more we have exposed home controller see home controller product repository as also should be there product repository dependencies this is repos product repository one more bin see available right so many beans are there in that we need to check our beans to identify whether this is available or not okay like this we can check this is health and here see actuator beans is there caches is there health info see prefixes environment if you want you can observe all we you can call from postman or uh, from browser also it can help you uh, it will it will show the output by cuz uh, all are get end points only right uh, so that's why yeah this is fine coming back see management by default false i am enabling this property now okay in application dot properties file see i'm restarting application yeah application is up and running see now exposing zero endpoints beneath base path slash actuator if you provide this at least health also not exposing now okay if you want i'll call this from postman not this health see we are not getting any uh, we are getting 404 not found response we are getting okay yeah come use individual endpoint enabled properties like management dot endpoint dot info dot enabled see not info info is the id right endpoint id uh, will expose health okay see by default false i am removing glth health i am enabling by default okay restarting application meanwhile we'll see this one okay next exposing endpoints by default only health endpoint is exposed over http endpoints may contain sensitive information we should carefully consider when to expose them when to expose them and what endpoints need to expose you should be very careful about that okay management dot endpoints that web dot exposure dot include health like this if you whatever the required endpoints you need to expose okay web explore see mult if you want to expose multiple you can provide like this en environment comma beans like this okay yeah next monitoring and management over http before that we'll observe the example it is not at started yeah application is up and running observe exposing one endpoint okay i'll call this from postman yeah status up before that we didn't get any output see now beans we are not exposed see not found we are getting right like this whatever the uh, endpoints you want to expose you can expose okay monitoring and management over http spring boot actuator auto configures all enabled endpoints to be exposed over http it uh, exposed right by default okay the default conversion is to use the id of the endpoint with a prefix of a slash actuator as the url path we have seen already this is the example slash actuator slash health example exposure of endpoint okay disabling http endpoints to disable the endpoint exposed use below property management dot endpoint stat web dot exposure dot exclude we need to provide star we need to provide 
so that we can disable the all endpoints. Okay. See, we'll we'll observe one more thing. I'm coming back. See, by default, false. Uh, sorry, I'm exposing all endpoints, and I'm excluding. Okay, only few we can uh, we will explore. Exclude. Okay, exclude. Shut down. See, here we have right loggers mappings. See, shut down. Sorry, shut down. And one more thing. Uh, mappings. Uh, no, no, no. Environment. We'll see. Example. I am showing. If you want, you can do more experiments. Okay. See, observe here. We have exposed all and two. endpoints we have excluded from that all endpoints okay Ex, uh, exposing 12 endpoints only now i am calling some see health we are seeing up and beans will check now see beans also getting environment environment i will call now nv see now not found right like this we can enable and disable actuate uh, endpoints by using actuators we can monitor our, our application mm -hmm. by using spring boot actuator dependency if you like this video please like and share subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching